Okay, the that I have been given is career opportunities in biosciences. So biological sciences as a whole are blooming fields in the science sector and uh, in the recent uh, era the opportunities of doing research, skill development as well as employment globally has increased in this field in such a way that it has almost overshadowed many other sectors. Even there is an increasing trend of people from material science background to migrate to biological sciences and to pursue research in one or the other way. And today we are in a world where the conventional barriers of different sectors of sciences have been gradually so to say, withdrawn and there is very uh, intimate interaction among scientists from different fields of sciences and most of them are involved now in research in biological sciences. The traditional barriers have been broken and uh, there has been a marriage between material science and biological sciences. Therefore, many different new aspects of biological sciences has emerged including the uh, hitherto known biochemistry or say uh, biophysics or even it has also given rise to emerging fields like biological mathematics or mathematical biology, mathematical modeling in biology and also integrative sciences, translational sciences wherein there are more participation of people from various backgrounds, including material sciences, in doing advanced research in biology. So this is a very important growing field, which can give you a very bright prospect in future if you pursue with full dedication and hard work. And still there are shortages of professionals in this field, particularly in the emerging areas where there are a lot of opportunities or avenues for employment. Job prospects are 10 times almost higher than that of any other field known. Now, traditionally, if a student takes biology as a subject in the undergraduate level or as a major subject in undergraduate level, they look for certain conventional careers in future. Most commonly, we look for conventional careers like uh, medicos, like physician or surgeon, or maybe most of the students would like to become a college professor or university professor. Or maybe if they venture into the field of pharmaceuticals or medical and allied fields, then they, they can look for avenues for employment in as pharmacist, psychiatrist, biochemist, biophysicist, etc or some of them may also venture to go for education sector, engaged in uh, high school teaching. Then other related jobs include uh, the physical therapy, then veterinary science, veterinary science and animal husbandry. Then of course the emerging branches are mostly around the non-traditional non aspects like uh, journalism in science, science journalist, even sports medicine, I think, you know, it is becoming very popular nowadays. Then biotechnology related careers in the biotech and pharmaceutical sciences. And even, even in management and sales sector, there are a lot of opportunities coming up in the uh, today's world for biology students. Now one can take up the job in some of the major areas like agriculture, animal husbandry, environmental conservation, genetic engineering, healthcare, medicine, or industrial research and development. In India, or as a whole globally, we do not find lot many biotech or bioscience related companies which can employ large numbers of biology graduates or master degree holders. 
in india the progress of establishment of biotech industry or biology based industry is even slower compared to other advanced countries like us canada or european countries so far only around 150 plus industries have uh, established as successful industries in the country and these are some of the companies having blooming business in india so in the entire uh, so to say industrial sector biocon is leading and of course there are many other industries which are engaging lot many biotech degree holders for and providing employment and also they are contributing towards revenue generation and contributing towards national gdp in terms of products and uh, license goods like biocon ceram institute of india panacea biotech mahiko then all others listed here i'll not go into naming every uh, company but these are some of the leading companies in india the prospect of bioscience as a career for the students lies in three important aspects number one it is a rapidly growing field as i said and has a global scope so the avenues for employment is in all countries of the world particularly in the advanced world it, the employment opportunities for biology stream is very high and then the research scope is also very vast and you may also say that most of the research advancement that have taken place in the last 20 to 30 years are uh, mostly in the areas of biology either in medicine pharmaceutical or any other branches of biological sciences most of the leading discoveries have taken place in the research areas related to biology if you are able to surpass the initial hurdles to establish yourself as a, as a career seeker in biology you may establish yourself successfully in the profession and you may uh, build your career as expected but there are many constraints in your approach the measure being that the opportunity for higher education in biology is also limited in most of the countries including india although in uh, humanities there is a lot of opportunities for getting admission into leading institutes of the country the number of seats in leading institutes of the country in biology stream is very limited so there's a big competition among the students to get their admission into the leading uh, institutes of the country then initial phase of adjustment to the biological science is very difficult for the students and many a times the students fail to cope up with the changing trend in biology because it is so advancing field of science that every day many of the chapters are rewritten and the students have to accommodate at any time to the changing trend in research and knowledge in the field of biology so initially the students may face a lot of problem to adjust to this situation and the number of companies as i already said employing biological graduates are very few there is another difficulty for getting employment after uh, getting the degree then a lot of hard work and sacrifice is required for a student to excel in biological sciences so those who want uh, easy money or quick money they should not venture into biological stream this is an advice now jobs which are directly related to degree in biological sciences may include uh, many different professions it is not an exhaustive list but i am trying to give you a short list of some of the important professions as a career for biologist bio technologist higher education lecturers or teachers marine biologist microbiologist nanotechnologist 
Natural Conservation Officer, but pharmacologist, physician associates, in addition to the physicians themselves, research scientists in life sciences, research scientists in medical sciences, secondary school teacher, soil scientists, zoologists, etc. etc. Uh, I need not highlight the fact that with the emergence of pandemics and zoonotic diseases like uh, the so called swine influenza, then bird flu, then SARS, MARS, and now COVID 19, the importance of learning biological sciences and particularly in relation to uh, the uh, epidemiology and uh, medical sciences or paramedical sciences did not be emphasized more. And more and more research is needed in terms of the emerging and re-emerging infectious microorganisms which are causing, causing diseases in human as well as animals. I think students will be uh, finding it interesting to learn that it has been seen that in the last 100 years, out of all the emerging diseases in human, around 70% are of zoonotic origin. That means they are originating from one or the other species of animals. It is also said that pandemic uh, COVID-19 is not the end of the history of pandemic. And everybody is also alert that in, in the near future, much more, uh, so to say, difficult pandemic may arise. And already uh, yesterday, there has been one report that uh, in Kazakhstan, bordering China, uh, more than 500 individuals suffered from a hitherto unknown kind of pneumonia caused by a virus and more than 500 people have been affected within a month. So this is quite alarming and today the Chinese government has given an alarm to the Chinese residents of Kazakhstan to uh, the emerging trend of that pandemic in future. So who knows that that kind of pandemic may emerge in the next few months in the entire globe and which may create havoc. So we should be always ready with that. And to acquaint with this kind of trending pattern in emergence of uh, newer pandemics of this sort, I think more and more research in biological sciences is needed. And whatever contribution has been made in medical research, I think most of them has have come from the common biologist not restricted to medical science people alone. So you'll be also finding it uh, interesting to note that in uh, medical research stream also, even in our country, most of the people involved are, maybe more than 80% of people involved in medical research are from the general background, either from the background of botany, zoology, or any other biological sciences. So I have many friends in the ICMR who are hailing from uh, some other educational background. There are medical scientists originally who were marine microbiologists or who were from simple zoology background, but they are doing uh, very leading research in medical medical research. Then biology related jobs are particularly competitive. So it is valuable and sometimes crucial. And uh, most important in biological education is to acquire work experience or skill rather than gathering only knowledge out of theoretical reading. So during your uh, undergraduate program or in master degree program, you must have to try to acquire more knowledge in terms of theory, but at the same time, you must have to develop adequate skills so that you can demonstrate your capabilities in dealing with the problem solving uh, uh, situations so that you can prove yourself to be a very good researcher in biology. So you please give more importance to learning practical skills.
a range of employers can recruit graduates uh, uh, in addition to the traditional fields to the biology students so uh, there are a lot of opportunities as we all know in universities and clinical research organization as teachers and researchers there are opportunities for employment in pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies private hospitals and clinical laboratories uh, either as a paramedical or as a technician or as a chemist or biologist similarly there is a lot of scope in uh, employment in national and global health and environmental charities or ngos scientific and technical consultancies schools and colleges and some outreach organizations like museums science centers as well as broadcast companies so biological journalism or a role of biologist in mass communication is also emerging because of the development of zoonotic pandemics that we have uh, experienced in the last few decades so i think there is a big role to play by biologists to put forward the real issues uh, regarding the pandemics because most of the time the news channels do not provide the facts regarding the pandemics which are important for the masses in the real, real scientific uh, so to say uh, per perspective but uh, because of spread of misleading information and rumors many a times it create problems for the governments to control the epidemics and pandemics like covid-19 so there is a very important role to be played by the biologists in terms of journalism also skills needed to strengthen in your curriculum vitae also include the subject specific knowledge of biological systems and concepts that means the theoretical background of your knowledge and also at the same time you must have to focus in your curriculum vitae your technical expertise in terms of the practical skills that you have acquired means what are the advanced equipments which you can handle alone you know the technical technicalities and what are the important concepts and technologies that you have learned during your undergraduate or postgraduate uh, course curriculum that has to be always highlighted in your curriculum vitae when you prepare your cv for submission to any other uh, agencies which can recruit you so more emphasis has to be given on your skills and technical capability rather than uh, only subject specific knowledge additional skills that are necessary for biotech or biology graduates for making themselves employable also includes many different uh, aspects say for example you need to have a good communication skill you need to develop skills for working in a team you must have to have uh, the capacity to work with your peers in a congenial environment then you must have to have an organizational skill showing your leadership quality so that you can organize uh, events or experiments in a team and then you should also be able to show your ability to confidently handle the masses of diverse data that means you must have to develop the capacity to handle big amount of data analyze them by employing mathematical or statistical methods and draw conclusion and interpretation out of it so that statistical skills are now a part of the skills of any biologist unless you develop that analysis analytical skill after doing your research whenever you gather big data out of the experiment if you do not have the capacity to analyze and interpret them in terms of their biological significance then you cannot come up with the uh, needed interpretation out of your research so you must have to try to develop the analytical skill also you must also have to develop the faculty of problem solving attitude and capability and also you must have to have the skill for managing your time in a better way so that within a short period of time systematically you work and come up with a, a fruitful result self reliance initiative and business awareness is also another aspect 
that you need to develop for getting good employment. The higher studies in uh, biology, which may be pursued by a graduate in biological science, a BSc student in future, in master's or PhD level, include many different uh, aspects of biological sciences, but I'm listing some of them. You may pursue master of science in biological sciences, as such, or master of science in applied biology, conservation biology, computational biology or bioinformatics, environmental science, microbiology or biochemistry, plant molecular biology, biotechnology, food technology, master of business administration, doctor of philosophy in biological sciences, doctor of philosophy in biotechnology or any other branches of biological sciences. But of course, as I already said that this list is not exhaustive. There are many more other branches of biology where you can pursue your master's in uh, uh, higher education. Some of the additional career opportunities also include biology content developer. Uh, this is one aspect which has been neglected in our country, but uh, of late, this is growing in a bigger way. Biology content developer, developer or biology technical writer. This is one profession. It is growing in a better way wherever uh, more and more biological industries are being developed. So as you know, when the products are developed by the biological industry, they must have to be marketed. And to make the uh, products user-friendly and to develop awareness among the masses about, about the products, the companies used to develop a lot of manuals, online and offline portals, as well as uh, the reading materials. So they are needed to be developed by the scientist or the biologist. Uh, only a technically uh, uh, skilled person like a computer science person uh, or an information technologist cannot have the skill of developing such kind of technical, uh, so to say, monographs or manuals or biological contents. So there we need a lot of effort from the biologist to develop such kind of content. So biological content developer or technical writers are coming up as a good career opportunity for biologists today. Then uh, biology technician, conservationist, ecologist, geneticist, horticulturist, molecular biologist, plant biochemist, weed scientist, forest ranger, then farming consultant. These are some of the additional career opportunities for the students of biological sciences. So to give a, uh, that means uh, idea, an idea about the leading biological science institutes for pursuing higher studies in future, I have given a short list of some of the leading institutions, but as I said, it is also not an exhaustive list. There are many more research institutions in the country which can accommodate you in future uh, for higher education in biological sciences. But some of them are Cancer Research Institute or Tata Memorial Center, Mumbai. It is also called ACRAC Mumbai. Then Delhi University South Campus, then Dr. Ambedkar Center for Biological Biomedical Research, Delhi University, Homi Bhabha Center for Science Education, Mumbai, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, Indian Institute of Applied Medicine Research, Ghaziabad, International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, ICGEB, New Delhi, JNU, New Delhi, then NCBS, Bangalore, Birla Institute of Scientific Research, Jaipur, Regional Cancer Research Center, Tiruvananthapuram, Bhopal Memorial Hospital and Science Center, these are some of the leading institutes uh, for higher education in biological research. But there are many more. These are some of the top institutes established by Department of Biotechnology in different parts of the country. And they are also leading centers for research and education in biological research. And uh, many of them also offer uh, PhD courses and postdoctoral opportunities for biology graduates. At last, I must emphasize uh, by quoting a famous quote of Colin Powell. I think you know that he was a former foreign secretary of US government and he was the chief of the army in uh, US for a long time. He said that a dream does not become reality through music. It takes sweat, determination and hard work. And really, if you want to become a PhD, in my opinion, what you require is 
persistent hard work and dedication. P stands for persistence, H for hard work, and D for dedication. So if you have got persistent hard work and dedication in your uh, pursuit of research and study, all of you can acquire a PhD degree and you can excel in your future. So with this, I would like to conclude my speech. I hope all of you will succeed in your career and all of you will be having a bright future ahead. Thank you very much.